Inside the White House, secrets of the most powerful building in America. Imagine a place where history is made daily, where the weight of the world rests on its walls and where the most powerful decisions are crafted. Welcome to the White House, the most powerful building in America. Today, we'll take you behind the scenes to uncover its secrets, revealing the untold stories and hidden details of this iconic residence. Our journey begins in 1792 when the cornerstone of the White House was laid. Designed by James Hoban and influenced by the neoclassical style, the White House has stood as a symbol of the American presidency for over two centuries. But its construction was far from simple. Enslaved laborers, immigrants and skilled craftsmen worked tirelessly to bring this grand vision to life, a fact often overshadowed by its majestic appearance. Originally known as the President's House, the building has undergone numerous expansions and restorations. Each president has left their mark with the most significant changes occurring after the British burned it down during the War of 1812. The restoration that followed not only rebuilt the structure but solidified its place in American history. Every brick, every beam of this building carries a piece of history. It's not just a home or an office, it's a living museum of American resilience and ingenuity. Beyond its public grandeur, the White House hides a labyrinth of secret rooms and tunnels. Beneath its surface lies an extensive network designed for security and secrecy. These hidden passages connect key buildings and provide an escape route in times of crisis. One of the most famous of these is the Presidential Emergency Operations Center, a secure bunker designed to protect the president during emergencies. This reinforced underground facility is equipped with advanced communication systems and essential supplies to withstand prolonged crises. These hidden aspects are a testament to the ever-evolving nature of presidential security. As threats change, so does the White House, constantly adapting to ensure the safety of the nation's leader. The West Wing is the epicenter of executive power, where decisions that shape the nation and the world are made. Built in 1902 under President Theodore Roosevelt, it houses the president's closest advisors and the iconic Oval Office. The Oval Office, with its distinct shape and historical significance, has been the backdrop for some of the most crucial moments in history. Each president decorates it to reflect their personal style, yet it remains a symbol of continuity and leadership. Every piece of furniture, every painting has a story. From the resolute desk, a gift from Queen Victoria to the portraits of past presidents, the Oval Office is more than just a workspace. It's a living testament to the legacy of the American presidency. Above the bustling West Wing lies the residence, the private quarters of the first family. Here, amidst the grandeur, presidents find moments of normalcy and respite from their public duties. Living in the White House means balancing a unique blend of public service and private life. Each family brings their own traditions and creates memories within these historic walls, adding personal touches to this national monument. These private quarters, though seldom seen by the public, hold the heartbeat of the presidency. They remind us that behind every great leader is a family that supports and humanizes them. The East Wing, added in 1942, serves as the office for the First Lady and her staff. This extension highlights the evolving role of the First Lady in American politics and society. From championing social causes to hosting state events, First Ladies have used this platform to influence and inspire. Their offices manage a range of activities from public initiatives to historical preservation. The East Wing stands as a testament to the significant, often underappreciated contributions of the First Ladies. Their work shapes the social and cultural fabric of the nation. The White House grounds, encompassing 18 acres, are more than just a picturesque setting. They are a place of recreation, diplomacy, and history. The Rose Garden, redesigned by Jacqueline Kennedy, 
is the stage for significant announcements and state events. The South Lawn hosts everything from the Easter egg roll to presidential helicopter landings. These gardens are meticulously maintained, reflecting the beauty and serenity that counterbalance the intense pace of political life. They provide a green sanctuary in the heart of Washington, D.C. Behind the scenes, a dedicated team of staff members works tirelessly to ensure the White House runs like clockwork. From chefs and butlers to security personnel and gardeners, these individuals are the unsung heroes of this historic residence. The White House functions 24 slash seven with staff attending to every detail, whether it's preparing state dinners, maintaining the historic rooms or securing the premises. Their commitment ensures that the president can focus on leading the nation. Many of these staff members have served multiple administrations, witnessing history firsthand. Their loyalty and expertise are integral to the seamless operation of the White House. Above all, the White House is a symbol of American democracy. It represents the ideals of freedom, justice and the enduring spirit of the nation. Through triumphs and trials, the White House stands as a testament to the resilience and determination of the American people. It is a place where history is made and the future is shaped. As we uncover its secrets, we are reminded that the White House is more than just a building. It's a beacon of hope and a reminder of the values that unite us all. Thank you for joining us on this journey inside the White House. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories and insights into the places that shape our world. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.